Hey you guys, so today I was planning to do a more professional video and then I was like, fuck it, let's do a get ready with me. So I'm a chat and I'm a get ready and uh, yeah, hopefully that works out for us. I'm not sure what I want to do yet today, I'm kind of going between being like natural and like full glam which don't really like tie in so we'll just see where this ends up. I'm going to put on my NARS uh, Creamy Radiant, Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's like to be radiant today. So I'm just applying that on my under eyes and then I'm going to blend it out. I'm probably also gonna put it around my nose and stuff like that. Um, okay, so I saw straight out of Compton. It was phenomenal. I laughed, I cried, I felt really white. Like it was just everything I wanted it to be and more. Um, it was really freaking good. There were some parts where I was like, okay, the movie was super long but it felt fast paced, like almost too fast paced because it was like, oh, this is happening. Oh wait, let's extend this whole issue for like half of the movie. Okay, wait, let's talk about something that has nothing to do with the movie at all. Okay, now let's jump back into this. Okay, now the issue's resolved. And I was like, what the fuck, man? Like I really like, I, my heart was in it and then you just took it away from me. You know, I just, I don't know, I don't know. If you felt like the movie was too fast paced or you felt like it was spot on, let me know. Why? I want to discuss this now. This is our um, this is our book club, okay? Every month we're going to watch a movie about Compton and then we will get together and discuss it, okay? So that's just what we're gonna do. A lot of you guys in the um, last video were like, oh, what is your skincare routine? And I think I've talked about this a little bit, um, but basically, my skincare routine has always been like not much of a routine at all. Um, I pretty much just, I take my makeup off with the Bioderma, like the pink lid. It's super like nice on uh, sensitive skin or just like any skin type really. It's really like gentle makeup removing. So I do that and then I will wash my face with warm water and a washcloth. Not super hot to the point where like I'm scalding my skin, just like pretty warm. Um, and then I just apply moisturizer and that's literally all I do. Personally, I find that the more that I do to my skin, the worse off it is. Like I used to try to use really harsh cleansers and stuff like that. And um, it really did not do my skin justice. And I look back at photos and I'm like, holy crap, I didn't know my skin was that bad. Um, it's still like not phenomenal by any means, but like I do have a lot less breakouts than I used to. Um, and so I'll list the makeup remover and the um, moisturizer that I'm using right now in the down bar. If I forget to do it, just yell at me in the comments. <laughs> Let me just get right between my brows there for all y'all. Oh my god, my lips all like busted up right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put my eye primer on. I'm using MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. Yeah, what else can I tell you guys about? Well, we're all moved in now. We have all our Ikea furniture. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So a lot of people were asking me on Twitter and stuff, and a couple of you on YouTube were like, oh, do you like a house tour? I ain't gonna do that. Um, I, ugh, I like the idea of a house tour. However, I just feel like, this is gonna sound so overdramatic, you guys are gonna be like, why are you such a brat right now? But like, there's some things that like, I don't wanna share on the internet because it's like, it, it ruins it for me completely. Like. I don't know, it's just one of those things that like kind of just like makes things that were positive and like exciting in my life like somehow shitty or like something I should feel guilty about. Like, I don't know, it's just weird. So I just don't like to share certain things. Like when I got the dog, for instance, I wanted a dog all my life, okay? I was literally talking to my therapist about this and I was like bawling. I was like, I just wanted a dog and then I got a dog and everyone like shit on me for it. Everybody was like, do you really have time for a dog? Do you think that you can really like, is that fair to the dog? Are you gonna actually give that dog a good life? I hope it's adopted, is it? I hope so because if it's not, there's plenty of dogs out there that need to be adopted and blah, blah, blah. And like people just went on and on and on about like every single facet they possibly could as to why I should feel guilty about having this dog basically. And I was like, Fuck that noise, like I'm excited about this and this is something like just that I've been waiting to do for so long so I was like, man, like these people are really shitting on my freaking my good time right now. I'm just, I'm just trying to have a happy parade and they're like, damn dude, I'm gonna shit on that. If that's cool. So I don't know, I just, um, I mean as much as like I'm really excited and like we got to buy new furniture and stuff like that 
and it was really cool and like I'm proud of it it's just one of those things that it's like man that's my home dude like I don't want people like shitting on it I don't want people telling me I don't deserve the things that I have I don't want people like freaking making me feel shitty about things that I'm happy about so it's just one of those things like I mean I know that a bunch of YouTubers are like Here's everything that's in my purse, here's everything that's in my house, here's everything that I do every single day of my life, here's my boyfriend, here's my dog, here's my cat, here's my step-grandma, here's my freaking, you know, tortilla from three days ago. I don't know. I, I want to be that person, but I can't do. I feel like I share a lot of my life, but I don't know, man. My house just, I don't know if that'll be one of them. Makeup room, we'll talk. Okay, I want to do my brows more natural today. We'll see if that's gonna happen. Um, I'm using the Benefit Give me brow. Oh my god. I always smell my products. I can't help it. So we're just going to deal with that. Anyways, I just brush that through my brows before I do anything else. And basically, when I want to do a more natural brow, I will, well, pretty much actually all the time now, I'll just brush this through first because I'm like, okay, that already makes a pretty big difference. And now I can see where I really need to start filling it in. I can pretty much leave the front end if I want to. But like, if I want to like go in and taper that back end, I can. Oh yeah, for the people asking about my freaking trip to California, I know I was like, oh, I know I always say I'm going to vlog, but this time I'm actually going to do it. I didn't. Well, I did. I started vlogging the first, like, six hours. I vlogged a shit ton. I was, like, freaking filming everything left, right, and center. I was like, damn, I'm going to film this. I'm going to film this. I'm going to film that. Basically what happens is, like, I start having a good time and it all goes to shit, man. Like, I'm just, I can't, like, focus enough to think, like, oh, yeah, we're doing something, like, worthwhile. I'm going to, like, take out the camera and film. Um, I don't know. I just, like, I'm not a proficient YouTuber, okay? Like, let's just break it down that simply. Like, I'm not, I'm not Shan XO, okay? I'm, I will never be as excellent at YouTube as her. She just fucking gets it, dude. Like, she's just like, yeah, whatever. I'll just freaking whip out my camera any old time. And I'm like, fuck, I can't remember to do that shit. So, anyways, I didn't vlog it, but I'll tell you about it. I'll recap. Where's my brow brush, dude? Hold on. I put my brow brush in my makeup bag. Who do I think I am? Okay, so anyways, I'm going to be using Anastasia De Brown Taupe. Vacation recap. Day one, we get up at like 6 o'clock. We drive to the border. Luke realizes that he only has one pair of shoes and it's a pair of running shoes and they are ugly and we are supposed to go to fancy events so we drive all the way home. We get home, we get the shoes, we drive back to the border. So we're going down the I-5. I'm gonna do my brows while I do this or I'm gonna try to. I'm just gonna be like starting from the bottom. You'll just watch. Um, basically, we were driving down the I-5 and then I was trying to like Google places to like stop along the way and um, I googled Cannon Beach and I was like, oh wow, Cannon Beach is fucking beautiful. So let's stop there. That sounds like a great, great idea. This is gonna be a blast. So I decide that we're gonna go to Cannon Beach and we're looking at it like our car has a little GPS thing that's like built in so you can see the map of the world. Um, and I was like, oh, that's not far at all. That's like just freaking like one finger space away basically. Let's just take a little detour. That was a massive detour. It basically took us like five hours all together to like go to Cannon Beach, be there, and then come back. So we took a five hour detour and we went to Cannon Beach. It was beautiful. I do not regret it at all. Uh, the water was balls cold. Um, I was like standing in the water and we were trying to take pictures. I was like, look, quick, I take a picture. Like, he's like trying to like, like, you know, focus the camera. And I'm like, can you just hurry up because I'm freezing. And like, I was freaking dude I was so cold and then I felt like a little bitch because there was like this six-year-old just like swimming like a fish beside me just chilling I swear to god he was a local or something because I was freezing and I'm from Canada so that says a lot but anyway so we went to Cannon Beach that day it added like five hours to our trip um but we ended up in Medford which I believe is in California and then the next day we woke up like super early like 5 a.m or something like that and we drove from Medford down to Irvine. Right at the front of my brows here, I'm just gonna add in a little bit and I'm going to, instead of holding my brush um, kind of like parallel, I'm going to turn it so that it's perpendicular and I'm just going to do little hair strokes right at the front. Um, and then I'm just gonna bring my spoolie through. So yeah, once we got to Irvine, we were hanging out with Dominique and Pedro who we were staying with the whole time. 
Um, and then we, I, that weekend, I judged a makeup competition for my Beauty Mark Makeup Academy. Uh, it was a blast. We did, we judged like 50 different makeups all done by students that had either just graduated, I think, or yeah, they were all graduates. So, um, it was really cool. It was, um, a lot of fun. It was a long night that ended with eating a lot of pickles, which was basically my ideal night. What else did we do? Oh my god, Dom's side boob at this event, dude. I can't even tell you. I wish you could have all been there to witness it because it was truly glorious. Like, at one point we were standing on the stage and me and Angela were standing behind Dom and Angela was like, dude, Dom's side boob is on point. I was like, fuck, I know, man. Like, I literally, I was taking pictures on my phone from afar because it was just like, it was, ugh, it was glorious. Like, it was next level side boob. I'm really getting distracted here, so I'm just gonna do my brows off camera. Brows are on. I'm pretty sure I just wanna do like a really like natural looking freaking. oh my god, I'm so boring, it's ridiculous. Hold on, let me just like creep the gram for a little bit here. So we did the graduation thing, and then another day, Luke and I went to Laguna Beach. It was fun until I lost my sunglasses in the water, and then I promptly left. I know what I'm doing. It's gonna be like boring as hell. So I'm just gonna take peach smoothie and I'm going to put that into the crease. Um, what else did we do? So, oh, and then we went down to Tijuana and basically Dom and her husband, Arrow, quiet, rude. So anyways, Dominique lived in Tijuana for like 11 years or something like that. Um, and her and her husband lived there for a few years as well together. Um, so anyways, they're obviously familiar with the area. Um, so we went down and we ate tacos and we walked on the beach and we took pictures and it was really fun. And I posted those pictures to Instagram, some of them. Um, and uh, I have to admit guys, I was kind of disappointed by some of the comments. There's a couple of people that were like, oh my God, Tijuana, uh, okay. If you want to get stabbed, um, okay. As long as you leave before the sun goes down, I guess. Um, okay, just be really careful. I'm gonna go on with a warm brown here. So anyways, I was a little bit disappointed by the comments because, uh, man, like, there's scary places in every single part of the world. In Vancouver alone, I mean, we have East Hastings in Vancouver, which is like one of the scariest streets to walk down, and I used to walk down that every single day of my life. So it's just, uh, it's basically a non-issue. Like, most of the people that are commenting, I can guarantee have never been to Tijuana and are just speaking off, like, preconceived notions. And that bothers me because it's like, one, you're offending the people that live there. Two, I don't think you've even been there, so you're just making assumptions based on what you have heard, not what you've experienced. And three, to me it sounds like you're holding yourself back from going and experiencing things because of what you might have heard in the past, and that's disappointing because goddamn, they have really good tacos in Tijuana. So anyways, we went down there, ate our tacos, uh, got some tamales for the road, and then we went out to San Diego and we stayed at Dominique's uh, uncle's house. And then in the morning, like we got back from Tijuana probably at like 12 at night maybe. And um, in the morning we freaking woke up at like 6 a.m. And then we went to Yuma in Arizona and we went wakeboarding. Well, I didn't go wakeboarding. I was going to and then I saw everyone get whipped around and shit like that. And I was like, mm, no thanks. I'm going to pass on that. Uh, I ain't trying to like break a spine here while I'm out here. So I was like, no. Everyone's like, you're so lame. Like, you're not gonna come to the river and go boating or freaking wakeboarding or whatever the fuck. I was like, no, homie. You know what I'll do? I'll take a nice, uh, calm tubing adventure down the river. That's what I'll do. That sounds like a good, happy medium. It was not a calm tubing adventure, okay? I nearly broke a spine. I should have just gone wakeboarding anyways because I almost died. Um, basically the guy driving the boat was obviously trying to get us, like, to be whipped off this freaking thing. So he's whipping us all over the place, into the weeds, onto the riverbank, like, it was just brutal. So anyways, so I fell off the tube the first time, it's like a three-person tube, and the driver was like, oh, are you okay? I'm so sorry, like, are you doing okay? And I'm like, I'm gonna be if you slow the fuck down, goddamn. And he's like, okay, I'm really sorry, whatever. I wasn't that rude, obviously. And then, um, <laughs> he's like, oh, I'll slow down. I'm like... I didn't factor in that he was a liar. So basically, I get back on the tube and he obviously like whips us around again. We all fall off the second time and 
basically I fall off, I immediately know that like I'm hurt, like something fucked up just happened. And I stand up and I realize that we're in like knee deep water and like I'm fully winded and this like other girl, it's like this cute little girl that was on the boat with us, she's like, she's not little, but she's like 20. She was like petite, I mean. Um, she's like, she's like, oh my god, that was like quite the tumble. And I was like, yeah, it was. Like I couldn't talk at all. Like I was like, holy fuck, I'm dying. And he was like, oh, you guys want to go for another round? And I literally like crawled onto the back of the boat like a fucking like sea creature. And I was like, oh. and I just uh, laid on the back of the boat and just gently passed away. So yeah, that was our boating trip in Yuma. It was actually really fun though. We got to do a bunch of different stuff. Luke was wakeboarding. He was having the time of his freaking life. He was just smiling away. And we hang out with Dominique and Pedro, and they're some of the most wonderful people in the world. So, overall, it was wonderful. Um, and then we came home from Yuma, and Luke and I started our trek back home. So that was that. Okay, I'm going to be mixing amber and, what is this called? It's called like peach sorbet, I think, from Anastasia. They're basically just like kind of coppery shimmery colors and I'm just gonna put that on the center of my lid but man straight out of Compton was so good when he <laughs> fuck you need to go see the movie if you haven't I'm officially recommending it especially because there's a line in which they like grab some chick by the head and like push her out and he's like bye Felicia <laughs> I was like, that was a 10 star rating alone in my mind like that it, the movie was already like it had it had peaked at that moment and then continued to peak. It was great. It was a great film. Uh, I'm gonna go back underneath my eyeball with that same kind of like warm color we used up top. Oh, what was on this brush? Only the good lord knows. Uh, we're just gonna roll with it. I wanna put like a lot of lashes on right now. That's kind of what I wanna do. So I'ma do it. I'm pretty much just gonna leave this eye right here. I know that this is like so boring. Everyone's probably gonna be like, really Sam? That's where you're gonna end it? You're gonna just like let it die there, and yeah, I am. I am gonna let it die there. Um, okay, so I stacked some lashes together. I think they are Ella from Flutter Lashes, which is just kind of like a light mink lash, and then Siren from House of Lashes, which is like the PC ones. Oh, a bunch of you are asking about my lighting setup, so let's just chat about that quickly. Um, I posted a picture to Twitter of like my filming setup and stuff. Um, basically, I got... So I had two soft boxes, but now I only have one because the dog chewed through the cord. So I had two soft boxes. They're from Canadian Studio. I just got them on Amazon. I think they weren't that expensive. They were like 150 to 200 dollars or something like that. Um, and then I got a ring light, which is the I think it's from Stellar Lighting Studios. The ring light was like ridiculously expensive in comparison to the soft boxes, and I don't feel like the ring light does as much as the softbox kind of does. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's personal preference, but I I don't live for ring lights. That's for sure. Okay, I was just chit-chatting away doing my mascara and then realized that my uh, camera wasn't really recording. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the shit out of my face. BRB, let me grab one. Okay, I know I said I was gonna use nothing but Kat Von D's Thunderstruck to highlight for the rest of my life, which has been true thus far. I've literally used it every single day since I said that, but I'm gonna use the Anastasia so... Ooh. Damn, look how that reflects light, man! I'm gonna use the Anastasia So Hollywood. These are the new illuminators. I got them a couple months ago, and I think I talked about them a little bit online, but they're beautiful. Pretty much to be expected. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put that all over my body. Oh, gorgeous. I just really pack the highlighters on these days. I just have no shame. No shame in my do game. Basically every time I do my freaking makeup on camera, I'm like, oh my god, are people gonna judge me for this? Don't care, it's just happening. I just have to put it all over my body. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have such a problem. Holy crap, I can't believe how freaking good that movie was. It was just, oh, fuck. I just wanna, I wish we could all go see it together. Wouldn't that be a blast, man? Now I have an affinity for meeting up with strangers. Ever since that freaking, oh yeah, wow! That was freaking what I forgot to tell you. I was like, I feel like I'm missing a freaking integral part of our vacation. Holy crap, I met up with a bunch of random people and played Cranium, it was a blast. So basically, me and Dominique were hanging out and um, I was like, hmm, we got nothing to do. We had the day off. I just keep packing this on, dude. I just like don't even know what I'm doing. Anyway, so we had the day off. 
I was like, what should we do? We thought about going to buy brushes and the places we went to go, we wanted to go buy brushes was um, like by appointment only. I was like, damn dude, that's pretty fucking exclusive. So basically I was like, what should we do? I was like, goddamn, really want to play Cranium. Let's tweet and see who's in the area and play Cranium with strangers. So that's what we did. I tweeted at first, but then I was like, okay, we're saying like a pretty specific area that's not like a common area necessarily. Like we were in Irvine, California, which wasn't like downtown LA or anything. So I was like, okay, let's, let's put it on Instagram as well. <laughs> let's open this up to 1.7 million, what do you say? So anyways, we put it on Twitter, got a couple people from there, put it on Instagram, and then I ended up inviting like about like 25 people and I was, I was fully expecting like maybe three, five if we were like really lucky would show up. Like 20 people showed up and we played Cranium in the park and it was a blast. We ordered pizza, we talked about life, we took selfies, um, we didn't end up even finishing Cranium but we did play it slightly. So overall it was just a really good time and now I'm just like fuck. I'll meet up with strangers every day. Oh yeah, I'm using Tarte's Park Avenue Princess bronzer. This is my freaking like favorite bronzer. I feel like everyone's been talking. I'm so late to the boat all the time. Like I literally feel like everyone freaking talks about a product for years and I'm just like casually listening in being like, oh yeah, cool, whatever, yeah. But I like never try it. And then when I do try it like years later, I'm like, man, you guys, this is such a great product. And everyone's like, we know. But anyways, great product. Um, it's just a really good color for bronzing like it's not too warm in my opinion it's not too cool toned like it's just it's just a good color I'm just really packing it on right now we're just really going for this glowy golden thing um, I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronzer on a brush and I'm just going to like go right into my cupid's bow and kind of shade it I'm gonna take warm soul from MAC the old formula I really don't recommend this blush anymore Literally every single company is just breaking my heart when it comes to blushes. Um, this blush used to be one of my all-time favorites. I literally recommended it and Kat Von D Wish to everybody. I was like, this looks good on so many skin tones. It's gorgeous. It's my favorite color. Blah, blah, blah. Go get it. They fucking changed formula. Why is everyone doing this to me? It's so offensive. I don't know. I just like don't agree with it at all. Anyways, this is the old formula. Don't buy it now. Well, you can if you want. It's up to you. But I don't like the formula anymore. The reason why I like this one is because it was like, it had a sheen to it, but it wasn't glitter. And now it's like chunky glitter grossness. I'm so mad. So I'm using this sparingly. All the t Well, not that sparingly. Like I'm still packing it on, but like I'm using it not as often. So I'm pretending that I'm using it sparingly. What a freaking heartbreaking thing it is to love makeup. Nobody understands me. I'm just gonna tone that. No, I'm not. I'm gonna leave it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Mm. Am I? Yeah, I am. Okay. I'm gonna try this uh, ColourPop liquid lipstick in Bieber. Bieber? Like Justin Bieber? I guess that's what it's called. Bieber, not Bieber. And um, I'm just gonna put that on my lips. <laughs> My lips are super dry and chapped right now. I don't want to talk about it. This is what the Arizona sun will do to you. So depressing. Anyway, this is a really nice color. I just don't like their formula. What a nice color though. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. I just like, I can't deny that this is a really pretty color. Damn it. I don't even like getting attached to products anymore because I know that one day I'll be heartbroken because they'll just decide to casually get rid of it or casually change the formula without notifying me. It's so sad. I just wish, Here's what I wish. Every company in existence would notify me every time that they're planning to change a product so that I can buy out their residual stock. Is that so much to ask? I don't think so. I don't really think it is. But apparently, according to everybody else, it is so much to ask. So that is everything, you guys. This is the final look. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you like these kind of chit-chat, get ready with me things, tell me. I think I asked you guys this already. I already know your opinion. Never mind. All right, guys. Peace out.